So here's a way to think about zero trust. Previously, we had insiders who were trusted inside of a network and outsiders who were not trusted. With zero trust, we assume that everything is an outsider, so there is no trust assumed, which means that we have to authenticate users at the device host system that they're accessing and secure the data in transit. Some of the concepts from Zero Trust date back a dozen or, or more years ago to work that the Jericho Forum did inside of the Open Group on deperimeterization. Uh, more recently, uh, Google published a number of uh, influential papers on Beyond Trust, uh, which was a Zero Trust concept, uh, and Gartner and uh, Forrester have, have talked about Zero Trust as well. So historically, the security world has grown uh, somewhat reactively. So as new threats came out, there'd be new systems, new uh, boxes, new software to react to given threats. Zero Trust brings a focus on three things, data centricity, adaptive access control, and asset centricity. The key characteristics of Zero Trust include adaptive access control, where we take into account the various identifying attributes of that individual or, or asset that's trying to access our systems. Uh, the notion that the zero trust architectures are pervasive across IT as well as OT, all sorts of different networks. And then finally, the notion of continuous improvement where we're continuously improving what we're doing in terms of security over time. Zero trust is needed because things like the ecosystem are changing, uh, business models are changing, and then the technology landscape is always changing. In, in the area of standards, there's a, a lot of work to be done, uh, bringing common definitions as to what zero trust is, common reference models and taxonomies, and even technical standards that enable zero trust capable products to interoperate. The Open Group has been working in this area for a number of years, uh, carrying on from the work that the Jericho Forum did uh, on deperimeterization and its impacts on corporate security models. Our security forum has been doing work now for uh, the last handful of years and have published two publications, the Zero Trust Principles and most recently the Zero Trust Commandments. The security forum in the open group works uh, closely with a number of different uh, security standards organizations. In the area of Zero Trust, uh, NIST in the United States are members, the National Institute of Standards and Technology, and we're working closely with them to align the work that they're doing with uh, the work that comes out of the security forum in this area. Companies that have contributions to make in the area of zero trust security, whether they're supplier organizations or customer organizations, should consider getting involved in the work of the security forum. Uh, you can find information on how to join on our website, and companies that do participate directly will influence the direction of our standards work in this area.